Betty Lofts in 32. 32. Okay. I anticipate a monumental battle in the forwards. I think the uh, side that comes out on top in this area will be the ultimate winner. Mr Stone gets them away, Manley running from right to left. Mavin's taken the ball on his goal line from the kickoff and brought it out to the quarter. Now there'll be a period of fairly fierce forward play I would imagine. Mario Fennick going through the middle of the ruck. It's sorted out pretty strenuously straight from the outset. Ellison on to Johnson. He's met by three Manly defenders about five metres outside his quarter. Coleman races into dummy half, gets it back to Ellison. Ellison goes the long kick downfield. Marty Gurr playing against his old team. Takes that ball well, brings it back about uh, 10 metres. Lions, way to Matthew Lott, the new boy on the side, number 32. He's taken the place of Austin. Hasler, Lions, little kick over the top. The bouncers uh, evaded the uh, South Sydney player who went for it. I think it was Coleman, yes, he's damaged a, a shoulder or appears to have. Mavitt at dummy half, runs on his own. Heavily backslammed by Daly. Fennick, Chisholm. Driven back in the tackle, gets the pass away to Crookshank. Crookshank dummy to kick. Mavin has the ball, gets uh, sucked there with another strong tackle from close. And there's a penalty against Manley for failure to get off the tackle player. And uh, it'll be only uh, midway between the quarter and the halfway line. Ellison going to kick the touch. South Sydney have all the possession of the uh, opening part of this game. Now let's see how they go again. Fennick, Coleman, Ellison, out to Blake. No ground game there. Fennick a dummy half, away to Coleman. Through the dummy, got right up the sideline, he could go in and score, he has scored! It's a tie to South Sydney, he's caught everyone napping, he dummied to give the ball to one of the uh, man South Sydney players in the three-quarter line. Continued on straight around him, I believe it was Moon, went straight around him and scored a try. See it again. Interesting the decision by referee Mick Stone. Ruling here that the ball hadn't been touched by Greg Coleman or Jason Moon. He allowed play to go on. Some Manly players hesitated and that hesitation saw the fact there that Craig Coleman crossed over wide out. Mick Stone weighed play on this ball. He ruled wasn't touched by Jason Moon nor knocked forward by any South players. Coleman just doubled around, picked up the bouncing ball. Some of the Manly players had hesitated in back plate. There's Haslam and Paul Borton and Marty Gurr was arriving far too late. A sensational start for South Sydney. They've taken them on out wide early in this move and the tap out wide through the back line. No, no Dale Shearer out there today, no Michael O'Connor. Pace-wise, South Sydney might just have a slight advantage. And Craig Coleman looks over to check for the fact that he's got plenty of room to move in. And away he goes for the opening try. One of those replays in hindsight showed Moon touching the ball, but uh, it's on the board. So uh, the kick has been unsuccessful from Ellison out on the quarter line. So we've got a score line after a sensational opening. South Sydney 3, Manly, uh, South Sydney 4, Manly 0. Well, we want to get down to a little bit of sanity here. That's uh, not the sort of football we're expecting in the, uh, in the start of this game. It was going to be the hard slog and suddenly somebody uses something different and up she comes with a try. Well, now Manley got it all to do. Jason Moon brought it out to the quarter. Fennec on a boil. Tackled midway, but, or right on the quarter line actually. Ellison going to kick downfield. It'll be a good kick too by the look of it. No, Marty Gers fielded it just inside the quarter. That's it away to Ronson. Ronson brings it back upfield about 10 metres. Gers runs some dummy half and he makes about 3 metres before being put down. Midway between the quarter and the halfway.
Dolly. Well, he just came straight at him. There was no stutter, there was no dummy, there was no subterfuge at all. There's Ward using a little bit of a stutter with his feet, getting through an extra couple of uh, yards of uh, acreage. Hasler, Lyons, Lyons dummies to uh, kick, gets it to Hasler. Hasler wrapped across the face, gets it out to Borton, then out to, Lo to uh, Loft. Loft tackle on the halfway line, last tackle. Uh, Borton gets a kick. Well, it's gone very high in the air. Well, Cochrane's knocked on, and now South Sydney are in possession about five metres from their quarter line. Jason Moon was the man that saved the day. Well, there's going to be a, uh, a penalty against Daly here for a high tackle. No argument. Cookshank running the ball out of the dummy half position and somewhat of a stranglehold applied, certainly high, and Mickstone going to stamp his authority on it and try and clarify any situation so that we don't have any blow-ups in the forwards in the opening ten minutes. Right, everybody's been warned with that penalty. The kick for touch is a good one, takes play back to the halfway line. South Sydney seem to have uh, the edge on Manly at the moment, they've settled down quickly, Fenix got each way, halfway through the ruck, went dancing away, high knee action, caught from behind, fell rather awkwardly. Coleman, on a Roberts, they're 10 metres out from the corner. Coleman elects to go to the blind side, which is the left side, onto Johnston. He's back slammed hard there by Crusher Cleal. Coleman. Out to Blake. Blake slammed to the ground by Lyons. Here they come out in the blind side again. Coleman. Long cut out pass on the inside. Goes to Chisholm. Chisholm tackled on the uh, quarter line. Last tackle. Coleman. Well, he's tried a field goal, but it's gone away to the left. The ball still stays in the in goal area. Ronson's got it. He comes out about, uh, well, about eight metres is all he can manage. And there's a penalty against the South Sydney side. The double markers moving sideways there. And Marty Gurr will take the kick for touch. 4-0, South Sydney lead after about seven minutes of play. Yes, there was some sensational football on the lower grades too. The under-23s went very convincingly to South Sydney, 26 to 10. And then Manly, 30, completely dominated South Sydney, 18 in the reserve grade. Well, a penalty against uh, the South Sydney forwards for over-enthusiasm there and retaining the player on the ground. That was Daly they were manhandling. Marty Gurr left, foots it for touch. It's a fine kick, taking play nine metres from the quarter line. David, any wind to speak of down there to affect either side? No, nothing to speak of, Rex. Absolutely ideal conditions for uh, this very vital match in the Winfield Cup, and they've turned out in their thousands today. A big chance that the ground record of 22,000 could well be threatened here today. Well, that elaborate pass by Lyons went astray there. Loft's got it. Had to go backwards for it, they're still about 10 metres out. Now he's going to be penalised for playing the ball with a marker in front of him. One of those rules that, uh, well, I think he thought the player was too far away from him. See it again. Just, uh, shall we say, a little bit of bad luck. Ellison going to kick the touch. Manly are going to have to get possession and sustain some pressure on this South Sydney side in their quarter at some stage. They've not approached that yet. Fennec, Harrington, the winger come forward who is always good for five or six metres. Coleman, Boyle, Daly meets him with a strong tackle. Coleman, Roberts, Some yelling and uh, screaming at the tackle there by Lyons. The referee saw nothing wrong with it. Coleman switching the play back inside to Andrews. Then back to Crookshank. But a pass away to Boyle. Touched in flight out to Harrington. Harrington's tackled by two. Six to go. Out to Boyle on the blind side. Nowhere for him to go. 
tackled on the Manly quarter. Cruikshank, Calvin, Ellison, Roberts, that very hard pass. Oi, it's been intercepted and touched again, and it will be a knock on. It look, all ends up a try there for South Sydney. The ball was in the air. It's the sort of play that South thrive on. Always somebody there to support the ball carrier. They're just starting to play Manly on the fringe of the rucks. Just one and two passes out. Problems around the 5-8 area off the lines. There's Andrews gone straight through. Got it back inside to Mabin. And Mabin's going to score. One of those flying dives of his that should get him a kick up the backside from his coach. George Biggins won't be impressed with that. A swallow dive, I know he's youthful, I know he's enthusiastic, the day he drops the ball will be the day we drop from first row, see it. And again on the State Bank replay, out of the scrum base, as Hasler was covering, the second row was, was slow to come out. That we can do without that sort of thing in rugby league, Steve Mammon certainly knows better. A great start for South Sydney, but plenty of time here, the second row, the scrum had been swiveled by South Sydney. They won the scrum, they took the second rowers away from where the play was. Mavin's ecstatic. Don't think too many rugby league supporters and these coaches would be with that style of scoring tries, though. Ellison to take the kick from 10 metres out. An instant uh, cabinet meeting in the Manly and Gull area. They'll be having a chat about what's gone wrong. They're fast getting into a position where this game could be lost before it uh, started. After 10 minutes, they're down by 8 points to nil. And that could be 10 to nil in uh, just a second. It is. 10 points to nil. South Sydney lead Manly at Redford. Well, very warm conditions here at uh, Redfern Oval. Got a massive crowd. Uh, I've uh, got no idea of assessing crowds. I can't see how many too many more can get into this place. Morton kicks off. Out to Jason Moon. Tackle on the quarter line. Chisholm, former Manly player, comes away with a four or five metre run. Ellison, kicking. Marty Gurr feels that back near his quarter. That's a good surge. He's lost the ball in the first tackle and it'll be a penalty for falling on the ball in an offside position. Des Hasler really had no option but uh, see it again. Des probably trying to argue the point that maybe a South Sydney player, while he was possibly within his rights there, I thought the ball might have been struck out and claimed there by Steve Maven, putting Des Hasler back on side. OK, we're back to the action here. Coleman's a dummy half. On to Chisholm. Gets to the quarter. Long one away to Coleman. Puts the grubber kick in. Well, there's some strong action there. Marty Gurr ran straight into a South Sydney player, took him out of the play. Mick Stone was very quick to rule that Gurr thought that he was going to try and grab the ball and quickly waved the play back on. Cochran on a Daly. Daly surging to the quarter line. And I think a South Sydney forward's going to be spoken to here. It'll be Wayne Chisholm for something in that tackle. And again asking for those tackles, quite obviously there, the swinging left arm from Chisholm and those tackles to stay below the, the neck and headline. Well it was just as well that Daly hadn't got a hand up quickly there to fend that off because it, uh, it was rather like a fighter defending himself. Under Daly. Oh, he's getting some torrid treatment every time he runs. He's a fearless sort of a bloke. Ward coming in for some strong defence, gets beyond the halfway line. Cochran, close. That's a good surge. Midway between the quarter and the halfway. Hasler to Lyons. Lyons a long cutout pass out to Ronson. Ronson uses his acceleration. Gets to the uh, 10 metre line. Hasler, Borton. Under Marty Gurr, the fullback there, who was really like a sitting duck there, took the tackle and uh, had to. Uh, Cop the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune as they came at him. The kick downfield by Crookshank, uh, to Crookshank on the full. 
and they drag him back five metres. Ten points to nil, a magnificent start by South Sydney, we've only had 15 minutes of football. Mario Fennick running to the corner. Otto Roberts stands in a tackle. And finally put out by Doug Daly. Fennick, Ellison driving for touch, it'll be a good one. That's a gain of about 23 or 4 metres over the sideline on the bounce and a touch judge coming in now. It's Phil Daly he's going to talk to. Well, I certainly hope this isn't just a tackle of a moment or so ago. I, I, I thought Daly was well within his rights to come in. Roberts was struggling and wrestling around, just needing to go down on his knees. Saw nothing in that. I, certainly uh, Daly's hard up if he's been called out for that. Well, the ball slewed out the left-hand side of that scrum, went to Ronson, the wing three-quarter. He swung round in the tackle. Borton, Gibbs drops the ball. I think some of them are trying to provoke Gibbsy, but uh, I don't believe that will happen. I wasn't all that sure that was a, a forward, uh, was a knock on either. Out to Ellison on the blind side, shows the ball inside, tackled. Still made a good inroad about five metres out from the quarter line. Jason Mood into the Manly quarter. Working a crisscross move here with Roberts. Coleman. Oh, that pass to Boyle was too far in front of him. He couldn't handle that. So the pressure off momentarily. Here comes the pass. And it was certainly going to be a chance for Manly. They had the numbers with the open up. A good long ball just wasn't quite directed as it should have been. But Manly in a lot of trouble there. No doubt feeling the pinch Paul Vorton and Phil Daly after having to back up from the state of origin. The likes of Malcolm Cochran are going to start taking a lot of pressure off. A lot of running out of that dummy half area. Oh no, Gers there. Lyons has got it. A dummy half makes a bit of an inroad from there. Beyond the quarter line. Cochran. What a Vorton. He did a lot of that on uh, Tuesday night, the State of Origin match. Gibbs, midway between the quarter and the halfway. Cochran, Hasler, Lyons, cut out pass to Crusher Cleal. Crusher's caught by one leg, gets it back inside to Ronson. Ronson tackle. ball ricocheted off Jason Moon's legs and he dived on it, Crusher dived at him and Jason got there first. Michael O'Connor relishing the thought of playing against his side. Former team. Finnick running from dummy half, he's got right through the gap, he's up to the quarter line, it's a good run from Mario. Showing a clean pair of heels. Coleman. On to Roberts. Daly's there with Vorton to stop his progress, the last tackle coming in. What will Coleman put on now? Is it a drop at goal? No, it's missed away to the right. That's the second attempt unsuccessful. The score remains South Sydney 10, Manly Warringah 0. Not a Ward. Ward steaming forward 10 yards. Daly, and that's a penalty against Mavin for stealing the ball. I hope the South Sydney supporters who are booing that decision do the same when it happens to one of their players. We've had exactly 20 minutes of play in this uh, match. Gurr kicks that down 10 metres beyond the halfway line. 
first real chance for Manly to have a full set of six. This is the man that's got to start coming into play now, Noel Cleal. He's the man that's got to try and break up this South Sydney defence. And if anybody's looking to find support runners, the men have got to be Des Hasler and Clippy Lyons. Backing up the forwards here. An opportunity as Wharton looked outside. Hasler, Lyons, dummies inside to close. Close gets it to Gerger with a crisscross move. Goes sort of in a diagonally opposite way than the way he was running. Hasler, Lyons steps back to Hasler. Out to Borton. Bought not a Gibbs, Gibbs is surging through, gets a kick it downfield, they're all racing for it, he's caught it and scored, it's a great try, it's a great try by Ronnie Gibbs, out of the blue, kicked ahead, caught the ball and dived, a magnificent bit of football from this man. On the State Bank replay, second rowers are normally barred from this sort of thing, but this is absolutely a brilliant piece of rugby league. One of the greatest tries you're ever going to see. Ronnie Gibbs, the man, supporting in back play here. The in pass from Paul Horton. Des Hasler had called for the kick through. He was backing up on the inside. Gibbs the short chip. They're all running for the ball. He knew he had to dive to get there first. And magnificent catch on the ball. You're not going to see a better try than this in rugby league all season long in 1987. Manly knowing that they have to fight back now and get back into this game, down by those 10 points. They were keeping the ball alive, starting to creep back into the game. Good support, they're finally starting to get to those ball runners. And there's the little chip. He used to be a centre, he's still got plenty of pace for a back rower and a brilliant dive and catch for the try. Great stuff by Ron Gibbs. He can take uh, a lot of uh, consolation out of that one. There won't be a better try scored all year. Now Cochran to take the attempted goal. The score, 10 to 4, 21 minutes having gone, the kick 10 metres in from the sideline, at about a metre short of the quarter line. Cochrane. Waved away to the right, the score remains, South Sydney 10, Manly 4. Ellison's come back to the centre of the field to get the action underway. Ground uh, looking quite burned off from the westerly winds around the middle area. Still plenty of green grass at either end. That was knocked backwards. Ronson picks up the dregs and brings it back to the quarter. One of the finest footballers that uh, South Sydney produced and a fellow that I've got a lot of admiration for is with David Fordham. It certainly is Rex. Ronnie Kidd has joined me, Ron. You wouldn't see a better try than one you saw from Ron Gibbs, but uh, being an old South Sydney man, I suppose you didn't want to really see it. No, that was a, certainly a great try, David. Gee, it was, you know, you, you know, you just don't see Fords do things like that these days, do you? I mean, not any day, I don't think. I think Rex would have trouble even doing that one. <laughs> Ron, uh, a tremendous pace so far this match yeah. and fitting the two sides' place on the Premiership table. Well, I think that's right. They're both, it's, it's been a great game so far. Both sides have, have given up and they've both got stuck into it and they're doing tough defence, good players. And I think that... I'll pick up the action. Harrington's made a bust up the middle of the field, gone about 35 yards. South Sydney got Manly on the rack at the moment. Coleman, away to Ellison. Out to Boyle. Boyle to Marvin. Marvin's got nowhere to go except straight. Very close to the sideline. We'll pick it up now with uh, Boyle getting a pass away to Ellison. Coleman. Coleman trying to put Chisholm through the gap. Slowed the pass down. Held it up fractionally. Mario Fennick in a run from dummy half. Out to Coleman. Out to Andrews. Then on to uh, Michael Blake who came on the burst. And the last tackle coming up. We'll just get this end of the sequence out of the way. There's a little kick being put through by... Coleman and it's Fielder. So take it away again, David. Thanks, Rex. Uh, we're running the big test today for George Biggers and the side, whether they are real contenders or pretenders for the Premiership. Well, I think they... I, I don't think there's any test for them. I think they are a real threat for this year's Premiership with the, the strength they've got in the team and the way they're playing. Um, I think that today's game will, will certainly sort of... Uh, could be. It could be the same two teams playing in the grand final in September. Um, you know, I think that uh, South have got everything. They've got good forwards, strong forwards who are not, you know, uh, they, they're hunting together, they're, they're working well with one another. 
uh, and their backs are starting to play good too. Okay, well let's see, uh, let's hope it is a big year for South at 87. Rob, thanks for joining us. Okay, we do. Well, there was a punch throw on there, but more in desperation than anything else. It was a, what means they're getting him away. South Sydney Krushank was uh, coming back from fielding the ball and had run it up. Out there to Fennec now, gets a one-handed pass away. That's intercepted, taken by Cochran. Cochran's going upfield, he's got the pace. He's going to give it away to Crusher Cleo. And Crusher's gone within seven metres of scoring the try. Davis will try to get the dummy half. He will go and he's going to get the pass back on the inside. Oh, gee whiz. The pass back on the inside from Davis to Cochran was a knock-on. It went to his feet. And a golden opportunity has gone for North. Well, simple chances here. Great run by Mal Cochran. Shows what a ton of speed he's got for a hooker. He looked outside. Cleo was there. And a great chase by Steve Maven. And a brilliant tackle. This game's got everything so far. But Stuart Davis just failed to hear the calls. He looked to the left. He should have gone right straight away. He hesitated and a bad pass was thrown to Mal Cochran. Yes, that was uh, a bad pass by any standards. And unfortunately it came from Steve Davis who is normally a very solid professional type of a player. Well, the feed is to South Sydney. They get the ball. Coleman runs around the open side, tackled by Vaught. Andrews, Boyle. South Sydney crowd starting to give voice now. Roberts getting himself into this slightly diagonal mode of running, which uh, I can assure him there's no value to a first-rate footballer. Marty Gurr feels that ball which came at him very fast. That's good work from Marty. Anyone who has had anything to do with him running straight has had uh, a lot to do with uh, an advantage to the Manly team. Oh, Jesus, they're doing some stupid things here. I think it's the same fella. No, that's Ronson. To play the ball, to be penalised for playing the ball forward when there's a marker standing in front of you is just straight out Dunsville. So from being in an attacking position seconds ago, they've uh, come back with uh, a situation where they're under pressure up near their quarter line. Ellison found a good touch there, about eight metres outside the quarter. Lindsay Johnson. Andrews, the dummy half away to Boyle. Very solid, dependable pattern there, developed in their forward play. Ellison, Coleman, back to Ellison, the little flick pass. A cute bit of football. Coleman runs from dummy half, gets it back into Jason Moon. He's uh, decked only about five metres out from the line, making easy yardage. One-handed pass away. Goes to uh, Chisholm. Chisholm's tackled straight away, so that's a bit of a let-off for Manley. There's a bit of mileage. Here's Coleman having another kick at a field goal. And that one's gone across the goal to the right, and the play will restart from the uh, quarter line. Ten points to four. South Sydney holding this magnificent edge in front of a magnificent crowd here at Redfern Oval. Lions kicks uh, an offending football off the ground on a ward. Well, that's got to be... Oh, dear, oh, dear. I don't agree with that. I will never agree with that sort of situation. The ball was struck for... And, uh, well, I think the replay will show here that Kevin Wall was thinking he was back in England. He just plants the ball. Now, that means that he's allowed to strike for the ball. Kevin Ward then wanted to wrestle with it. He just should have struck the ball back very, very cleanly. He planned it there, left it there. Lindsay Johnson well within his rights. Lindsay Johnson would have got the back of his hand scraped had I been flying opposite him there. Right or wrong? Ellison's going to get a reasonable attempt at a goal here from about 10 metres outside the quarter. Only about perhaps 23 metres in from the sideline. This will be a relatively simple kick at goal.
11 minutes left in the match in the first half of it Ellison taking a lot of time as indeed he should this is a critical goal he's raised the flags so the score now South Sydney 12 Manly Warringah 4 Mark Ellison has uh, kicked about 26 goals from 36 attempts for South Sydney this year. In total he scored uh, something like 62 points, two tries, 26 goals, a couple of field goals for 62 points. Wharton drives it deep again. Taken by Andrews Well. Jason Moon on the inside of him, takes it back to the quarter. Same sort of pattern. Then a couple of the forwards. Just to get out beyond the quarter line. Lindsay Johnson. Ellison. Chisholm. Grinds his way. Well, he actually it was a line ball. Back to Ellison. Then the change of the kicking option. Across to Coleman. Coleman kicks downfield. Taken by Davis. Davis goes well, he spit it right through the middle of them. That's a great run. It was a, a stiff arm tackle that was thrown at him that missed there too. Out there wide and now, oh, hell's bells. Well, referee Stone has awarded a penalty and I thought Manley had a fair overlap there. Lyons runs from the tap restart. We'll come back to that in a minute. Out to Hasler. Hasler throws a long pass to Cochran. Cochran out to Borton. Gorton changes direction. Still going forward. On to Daly. Daly about 17 metres out from the line. Cochran, Ward. Trying to get the arms free to get a pass away, but he can't do it. Our referee Stone has pinged uh, Boyle for failure to get away from the tackle player. And Paul Gorton having something to say in back play too. Cookie Lyons only a moment ago had the opportunity to slow play down. The kick was well within the range of Malcolm Cochran, maybe 30, 40 metres out but right in front of the post. And Gorton had, was certainly not uh, asked to explain what he wanted to do with the ball. Lyons just rushed in, took the quick tap. But thankfully for Cliff Lyons, Manly have come up with another penalty and a chance for Malcolm Cochran. Lyons is not going to let the frustrations of this opening half get to him. That uh, passage of play just prior to this penalty where the referee awarded us uh, a penalty to Manly for offside in the uh, South Sydney back line. I thought Manly had about a four-man overlap there. They were moving the ball to the right. There were, to my view, only two South Sydney players in position. Perhaps a try would have been scored if he'd allowed play to go on. Cochran from a fairly adjacent position. He's got none from uh, one at the moment. And that's a goal. So the score then was seven minutes to go to half time. South Sydney 12, Manly Warringah 6. On the halfway line. Kicks. Gurr takes it, feeds it away to Ronson. Ronson comes out to the quarter. Or a couple of metres short of it. Crusher Cleal goes for a bit of a sprint. It's about time he came to life too. He's done precious little in this match except uh, sprint for 20 yards there at one stage. He's been very quiet, walking around out the back. Hasler changes direction. Steps. It's a great run by Hasler. Still going. He's run about 70 yards to go, well, 20 yards forward. Vaughton. Marty Gurr kicking downfield to Crookshank on the full. Ridiculous kick. Tried to kick. And now Manley. 
Gimsonley who got the ball. Cruxack tried to kick, missed the football. Gibbs on to Ward. Ward plowing his way up the middle of the field. Oh dear, oh dear, the referee has given another penalty. This is ridiculous. We are being treated to a, uh, an incredible situation where the referee is not playing the advantage rule. Now there was a try for all seasons here. Ward stands in the tackle, gets the ball away and the player goes through to score the try instead of the warden. I thought advantage rule was all rugby league. That was what rugby league was all about. Cochrane from about four metres, correction, five metres outside the quarter around about uh, 17 or 18 metres to the left of the upright. The last three minutes of play have seen three penalties come to Manly. Five minutes to go to the half-time break. goal. The score now, South Sydney 12, Manly Warringah 8. The game has been played at a frenetic pace, very, very hard, lots of running from both sides, and I suggest that both sets of players are going to be very, very ready to go in that half-time dressing room and have the break and the oranges or the ice water or whatever it is that they have. But there's still time for more action in the remaining time. Well, girl let that bounce over his head there. Now Ronson comes up with a run that gets him a little less than usual. Oh dear. Lost the ball in the tackle, dropped it between his legs. Vaughton shakes the head ruefully. This is a golden opportunity for uh, South Sydney to get possession. Now, Roberts has pulled himself out of the scrum. And that's what he was pulled out for, evidently, to, as a ploy. Coleman, Crookshank, straightens, back to Ellison. Ellison to Boyle. Boyle, this pass is knocked down by a manly player. Johnson falls on it, six to go, back to the quarter. Ellison just does want to settle it down. Lions get cracks him like a whip. Coleman. Chisholm. Picked up in cover defence by Daly. Still plugging it up the blind side. Jason Moon got a pass from Coleman. Went to within five metres. Very slowly to his feet. Coleman. Trying to catch the defence snapping. I don't think they get caught twice with that move. Well, there's a field goal attempt. It's successful at long last. So, South Sydney surge away. Another point, 13 points to eight. Ellison, the man that kicked it. something to say to the referee at the half time uh, at the halfway mark the kickoff goes to Andrews back to Crookshank well, the crowd went ooh and ah Coleman having plenty to say well, there's absolutely no difference in that tackle than one we saw early in the game when Mick Stone called Phil Daly out for a caution.
absolutely no difference whatsoever. So if somebody can assure us why it should be with only a minute before half time, any change to what was ruled on in the opening five minutes, you better let us know. Marty Gurr feels the kick through. Davis is at dummy half. He's gone for a sprint. Now that's successfully got all his side back on side. Cochran, Haslam, Lyons, back to Haslam. They're, they're playing without going forward. Morton goes forward. I think he's having something to say to them too from uh, standing around in the middle of the field and looking smart. Cochran, Hasler, Cleal, Cleal. A big circular run going very well. Got it out to Ronson. Ronson goes straight ahead. The crowd. And there's the Hooter guy on the half time break. And I'm uh, afraid I didn't hear it. So at half time, South Sydney leading by 13 points to 8. Tries to Coleman and Mavin. A field goal to Ellison. Ellison, two goals from three attempts. That's their 13 points. Manley's eight points came from Gibbs a try. Cochran, two goals from three attempts. 13 points. Okay. Sydney are ready, Manly, we're in a bit of a huddle there. Uh, David, you've got some information on the uh, request, shall we say, that uh, Paul Borton made to referee Stone. Yes, I just spoke to uh, Fatty Borton as he came out uh, to begin the second half, Rex. He mentioned that he challenged the fact that South Sydney stood Ian Roberts out of the scrum at fullback and then involved him in the play from that thing. Uh, he said he didn't get much satisfaction from Mick Stone. On, on the other situation, Noel Cleal has gone into this match. You mentioned that he's been pretty quiet in the first half. He is really heavy with the flu, and I doubt very much if he'll see the full 80 minutes out here today. Yeah, I knew that he hadn't trained on uh, the last training run that Manly had, but I uh, wasn't prepared for a slow motion version of Crusher Cleal. Anyway, we're back to the action here with Manly in possession. Gibbs has tackled just outside the quarter. Cochran on a ward. Stands in a tackle, sucks three of them to him. A very powerful fella. Hasler, Vorton. Changes direction, goes right through, gets a pass back on the inside to Crusher Cleal. Away to Hasler. Hasler lobs a pass out to Lyons. Dummies back on the inside to the replacement Loft, who drops it behind him. Gibbs runs from dummy half, gets beyond the halfway line. It's the last tackle coming up now. Ryans, Hasler kicking, that's an unusual sight. Taken by Cruikshank, he's been bringing the ball back beautifully. He's still going, cross field. Well, the net gain of only about eight metres, but uh, he's showing an enormous amount of pace. Harrington, the wing three-quarter, come forward, goes surging through for another six or seven metres. Lindsay Johnson, trying to get the ball away, lost it, Ma uh, I believe it's Matt Loft fell on it, Vaughton, slam, back slam before he could do anything, Cochran, Daly, Oy! very heavily hit, on a crash of Cleo. 
Crushes up to the uh, quarter. On to Hasler. Hasler steps. Pass back to Crusher Cleal. Throws the dummy. And a pass away to Close. Close drops it behind him to Ward. Got it on to Gurr. Gurr goes forward. Kicks the ball. Ricocheted off a South Sydney player, I thought. And now Manly get a penalty. That all came from a forward pass back there when Ward fielded the ball and turned and gave the ball back in. It was forward. Late and forward pass from Kevin Ward was the man that was trying to tidy up the play. Forward is Marty Kerr didn't want the ball. He knew he was in an offside position. With a penalty there for Gurr being interfered with after kicking the ball. So a real bonus for Manly. That's one out of the blue. I'm afraid uh, referee Stone is bewildering a number of people here, not the least of which your commentator with some of his rulings. So Cochrane will have an attempt from uh, about three metres outside the quarter. And he appears to be only about, uh, about nine metres off centre. So, that's the uh, dimension of the kick he's got in front of him. Actually, it's a straight kick. Still windless conditions. Trees are not moving at all. Smoke going up. Moves in. South Sydney's advantage by two points. South Sydney 13, Manly Warringah 10. Ellison to restart the action for South Sydney. Okay, he's got the ball on the mound. We've had uh, around about four and a half minutes in this second half. Lyons takes it. Gets out to the quarter. Another eight metres there. On a ward. Rushes through one tackle. Gets beyond the ten metre line. Hasler. Lions, beautiful pass out to Cleal. Cleal goes up, gets a pass back on the inside to Matt Loft. Then to Marty Gurr. Good chain passing. Lions, Hasler, Vorton, straightens. Still going up to the quarter line. Last tackle. Cochran running from Dummy Howe, kicks through. Very, very close to getting there, and that was a, a very intelligent little kick. But South Sydney came up with the ball. Coleman's got it. The crowd are now trying to bait the referee into giving them a penalty. No different to any other crowd. Johnson. South Sydney about 10 metres outside their, uh, their line. Fennec. Gibbs reeled back then. Ellison. Straight to Guerra in the first bounce, 10 metres from his corner. He'll get back beyond the halfway. That's a good run. Defensively, there are very similar problems for both sides. Manley will try and work to play one, two or three rucks the same way. Davis taking the ball across here to the right. What they'll try and do is to shift the transfer of play back down the blind, try and catch Man uh, South Sydney without the numbers. Hasler on the second or third tackle, that one. Cochrane. Way to Vorton. Lyons. Dummied inside to Cleal. Cleal gets a pass back inside to Lyons. Out to Vorton. Vorton's the only one that seems to want to go straight. There are a number of players in this uh, manly side today who aren't very, very fussy about running with the football. Lyons. Out to Davis. There's the last tackle coming up. Back to Lyons. The high bomb. Crookshank makes a meal of that. 
Don't fall on it, South. She'll be offside. It's out to Hasler. On to Davis. Davis to crush it. Cleal. Cleal goes strongly. He's only 10 metres out from the line. Very slowly to his feet when a quick play the ball was called for. Hasler. Gibbs. Mounts a charge at the South Sydney line. Cochran. Hasler. Lions. Away to Marty Gurr. Held the pass up. Brought the dummy half. On the ward. Ward surrounded by South City defenders. If they can push it hard left now. Out to Hasler. Long cut out pass. Got to Cleal. And he's taken an attack. Oh no, he's not. He's going to get it. No, he tried to get a pass away. And the pass rolled forward off his hand. I think he was going to score. See it again. Close to the line, David Cookshank was the man trying to stop him. All he had to do was unload and Stuart Davis was going to fall over the line. Well, that's as close as you'll go. It's a ground record, I'm told. What's the good news, David? 23,357, eclipsing the previous record of just over 22,000. One against the feed here, with Lions winning it, going straight and strong, and he's there, beside the post. Manly have come up with a scrum win against the feed, and against all the odds of score to try, Lions' the strength was the key factor. See that one again. On the State Bank replay, just too much ball. The weight of pressure starting to tell on South Sydney. Territorially, Manly have started to wear them down. Too many missed tackles. The defence is starting to fall apart the last four or five minutes. They really have got to regroup. But a real show of strength from Cliff Lyons. He was holding the ball out in front, showing the ball. Greg Coleman was brushed off very, very easily. And just crashing over there. Just too much strength by Cliffy Lyons. Yes, I believe uh, Cliff Lyons uh, <coughs> defeated four defenders on that occasion. A very, very tough run. All done in the space of 10 or 12 yards. Really pulled it off. That's a try out of the book. Now... 14-13 is the score at the moment. Cochrane attempting the goal from 10 metres out and a few metres off centre. Back at halfway, Crushers involved with uh, plenty of water going in. Cochrane. So the score now, Manly Warringah 16, South Sydney 13. Ten minutes of the second half gone. The first time Manly has led in the match. And plenty of time for another result in this game. Although I can't be uh, imagining that, Cliff, uh, that uh, Piggins, George Piggins, the South Sydney coach, will be very happy with that Lions try. What a pass away to Cochran. Making some uh, fairly easy yardage at the moment, Manly. Hasler, out to Vorton. Back inside to Cleal. Cleal gets it to Gurr. Gurr's gone straight. This is not the Marty Gurr of last year, this is a different one. Well there was an extraordinary bit of football there, the ball was played, knocked on by, uh, I think it was Gurr, and uh, I thought there should have been a penalty to South Sydney for a bad play the ball, but a scrum's going to be put out. You've got a change in the uh, South Sydney squad, David? Yes, I have, Rex. A big uh, blonde-headed centre from the reserve grade, Luke Beasley. And jumper number 16 is coming on to replace uh, Harrington. Luke Beasley. <laughs> All right, South Sydney in possession. Just, there, uh, just the uh, manly side of halfway. On a boil. Roberts drops the ball behind him. I think it's been fallen on by a manly player. Gibbs is down injured at the moment. Close on a daily. 
Could pop the pass. Gone to Cochrane. He's wrapped up by uh, Chisholm. And a good front on tackle. Wade Award. He's starting to run a little bit now. On to Hasler. Lions. Gibbs. Gibbs. Oy, lovely tackle right round the boot tops. Brought him undone. Mario Fetti. Hasler. Probing, searching for that pace of his. And there's a penalty against number 21, David Boyle. Failure to get away from a tackle player. Just too many silly mistakes inside their own half in this second 40 minutes. South Sydney, they're saying to drop off their tackles too. They're not moving up in the defensive line. They've got to keep a straight line and move up and put the pressure on Manly Ring. They're just coming out with too many missed tackles. First man in has got to put the, more, the man with the ball right down. And that's going to tell the story. There it is. That's why Manly have come back in this game to lead it. Twelve missed tackles for South Sydney. Marty Gurr found a good touch. Here's the tap restart. Crusher clear up the blind side. Made an inroad. Only about 16 metres away now. Ronson. Hasler. Ward. Playing a very important part in the game. Gets a pass away to Hasler. Hasler's gone for the line. He's tackled only about two metres away. Ward playing a very important part now for Manley. Out the blind side they come. Cleal's there. He can't get the ball down. He's been pushed back into the field of play by stern defence. Ronson there at dummy half. Out to Hasler. A long cut out past the lines. Back to Borton. Borton can't do anything. It was a it was a non-event move, that one. Marty Gurr at dummy half. Lions, on the close, close like a runaway train, came back diagonally into the defence. Tochran, out to Lions, Lions kick for goal is uh, a bad one, an attempted field goal, so the score remains 16-13, Manley's favour. Roberts takes the tap, makes about five metres. Coleman, Johnson. Gets to another couple of metres. Coleman, Ellison, Boyle, Swivels. Up to Chisholm up the blind side. He's a spring heel runner these days. Finney. Coleman, like roping a steer on that occasion, Lyons came straight at Roberts and let the, got him in a headlock. Coleman kicks for touch. It's a good kick. Takes play into the Manly corner, where they haven't been for a long, long while. Good kick from Craig Coleman to try and put Manly under pressure for the first time. Very important point in this second half. Manly have had the ball for 35 tackles. South Sydney just for 12. Scrum feed now, very important. 16-13, anybody's game of rugby league. Lions seems to be standing a long, long way away from the scrum base. Davis is going to come in there. Now Lions. Out to Gurr. Gurr away to uh, Mark, to Matt Loft. He's ruled a knock on. And that was a, a pretty ordinary bit of play by Manley. Ended up in a very ordinary fashion. So South Sydney now an opportunity to have the ball and the six tackles inside Manley's half. No less Davidson out there today. I think South Sydney are paying for that here in the second half where they need a forward to really break the, uh, the line. Interesting, we had a shot of Paul Roberts up before, a running uh, forward that might be brought on by George Piggins. Krushank tries to make a move into the centres there, didn't uh, quite come off. Boyle, Ellison, now to Roberts, back inside to Coleman. Boyle again, Coleman again, out to, and to Andrews, slung to the ground by Lyons. Played it badly. 
Patterson. Maven, no, oh, the pass has gone over Beasley's head and knocked over the sideline. A try on there. Desperate defence by Manly. The last pass going astray. And it should still be knocked over the sideline by Manly Moringa, so it should still be a South Sydney feed. Chris Close getting a hand to the ball there for the pressure still on the Sea Eagles. Coleman comes up with a scrum win. Ellison, Beasley, the fresh player. Now the South Sydney fans are right behind them at the moment. Coleman under Chisholm. Coleman, Mario Fennick put his head down, but uh, the tackle came in lower. Ellison within one metre. And Manly needs somebody in the in goal area trailing. Well, that uh, seems to be a little bit of a halt there going on in the a bit of a wrestling match going on in the in goal area. It's all over now. And uh, Chisholm being spoken to briefly. Just over enthusiasm, nothing dramatic. So there's Paul Roberts, the man I was talking about, a good running second row of the man that South Sydney really do need. This will be a good decision by George Piggins, a man with plenty of pace that can break up this manly defensive line. I just watched Cochran slam the ball down on the goal line there. I'm sure that uh, something's... He's taken offence at something or other. Coleman feels that at halfway, drops it behind him, no knock on. Out to Boyle. Boyle runs into a hornet's nest there. Midfield. Well, Hasler and uh, Ward are the two players that have uh, come up with the penalty. And the replacement is David. Well, Paul Roberts, as suggested by Graham, is coming on for Lindsay Johnson. Uh, Paul Roberts has lived up to his reputation as a try a, uh, a match man. And you remember last week in Monday Night Football, Rex said he backed up Craig Coleman for that vital try under the post against Parramatta. Let's hope for George Pickett's sake he can repeat the days here at Redford Oval. Without the forward, without the drop ball. Yeah, the normal pattern of play here has been to take the play to the centre of the post and set for the blind side. Out to Coleman, on to Roberts. Roberts very, very strong now. South Sydney seem to have a new lease of life. Manly on the rack. We'll see their character, Coleman. Out to Kushak. He runs back into the defence. Lost a little bit of ground there. Mario Fennick. And Daly's all over him there. That's... Uh, the second time he's taken in, Ellison, Cochran runs, there was a knock on, but uh, the referee may not have seen that, so he scooted away, thing to do. It's been great defence in the last few minutes by Manly, close to their line, the third set of six tackles they've been able to last, but again the South Sydney feed. ball that looked uh, suspiciously like not retiring to me but the referee has ruled that Manly won that scrum well, the Manly players are standing in a bunch behind the ruck at the moment they're not taking any part in the action Chris Close nowhere near the uh, activity from this fellow today that it was last week and their great win over Canterbury I heard the reason for that this week, that uh, the Gold Coast uh, selectors were down here previewing him. Hence the big game. Kick by Marty Gergos, deep downfield. Beasley will feel it, runs back into his in-goal area. Now he starts to come out. He's a big lump of the lad, this fellow. All of six feet, all of 14 stone. Blake. Ward stole on the ball there and uh, got up and put the ball between his legs and uh, has to have a scrum now. Now that's 
straight out. <laughs> he can't believe it, but that's the reason. South Sydney fans, a scrum penalty on a Coleman feed. Gee whiz, even the rabbits looking sad. That's the first scrum penalty of the match, incidentally. Okay, let's see what they can do with this. Two balls on the field. Morton goes within three metres of scoring. Pounds his way forward. Hasler, a long lobby pass out to Gibbs. Gibbs tries to wind up. Gets halfway around his defender there. Lyons. Out to Hasler. Hasler to crush a clear. Pushes the defenders out of the way. Gets the pass to Hasler. Hasler's going very well, but he can't evade the tackle of Coleman. Ronson finds his way midfield. Marty Gurr off his foot according to the referee. Lions back on the inside to close. Close charges for the line. Met by strong defence. Two tackles to go. Lions. Cochran, there's a hole out here if they can do it. Gordon. Back to Ronson. They're keeping the ball alive. Now to Borton. He's gone for the cross field kick. Beasley knocks it on in goal. And now they force it. So it'll be a line drop out to restart the play. Good cross kick from Paul Borton there and just tied it up by Steve Maven and a very important change coming up, David Porter for Manly. Yes, uh, young Paul Shaw is coming on. The interesting thing, Ron Gibbs apparently will be the player that's coming off for Manly. Des Hasler will move to lock forward. Paul Vorton will move to the second row. That's what we understand the plan moved by uh, coach Bob Thornton. OK. Paul Shaw incidentally had a quite superb game in the reserve grade today. The kick-off taken by Lyons. Lyons deliberates quite slowly. Brings the play back to within five metres of the quarter line. Hasler still going at 100 miles an hour. Away to Shaw. Shaw falls. <laughs> he's, a, he's a crazy little footballer. He spins and weaves and ducks and does it all. The pass goes to Cochran. Cochran can't get a pass away. He can now. Oh, there's tiredness coming into this game. Now South Sydney have got a chance out to Coleman. There's Beasley up the sideline. And a very good tackle from Ronson gets him down. Coleman. Boyle. Exactly 15 minutes to go. Ellison. Andrews. Coleman kicks for touch. It's out on the full. So the scrum comes all the way back to the middle. A lot of tired forwards getting themselves set for this scrum to go down now. Mario yelling out to the sideline that his shoulder is okay. He had a problem in the first half. But they're starting to get very tired close to the Ruck South City. They've got to keep their eyes on the replacement player. Paul Shaw in number 20. Got a ton of pace and very dangerous close to the Ruck. That's a penalty to South Sydney. A penalty to South Sydney on the halfway line. Differential. Section of a large and attentive crowd that's here with bated breath. Ellison's kick is a good one. Benick on a Roberts, the try scorer. He's buried. Ian Roberts 
off a boil pass, gets to the quarter line. Coleman, back to Andrews. Roberts tries to dummy and go through there. Chisholm on to Coleman. Ellison upended. 13 metres out from Manley's line. Coleman. Michael Oak. No, it's uh, Matt Lopp there doing some strong defence on Marvin. There's a bomb they put up. Oh, they made a meal of it. And it's ruled that they're offside. Two players collided in the Manly in goal area and made an absolute meal of catching it. See it again. Nick Stone giving the ruling that Ian Roberts, the man, is charging into Marty Gurr before the ball had really came down. Ruling that he interfered with him, leaving up for the ball here, but the shoulder in the back well. Very tough call, but that's the way he saw it. Ian Roberts was the man going for the ball. The kick for touch is not a bad one. Takes play to within three or four metres of the quarter line. On to Daly. Charges ahead. Can't get a pass away. On to Ward. Ward going straight and hard. Gets to within 12 metres of the uh, halfway line. Hasler runs from dummy half. He's caught by the collar. Gets it away to Borton. Borton back to little Shaw. Shaw gone through. Right through. It's clever stuff. He wriggles and squiggles and does everything. He's a real little uh, champion, this fellow. Long cut out pass out to Crusher Cleal. Out to Davis. Davis goes upfield. The ref, they crowd are calling for a forward pass. As you'd expect. Two metres from the corner line. Cochran, Shaw, Locked, Hasler, who's covered 100 miles in this match this afternoon. Everything is done at frantic pace. Shaw. They don't want to run. They're too tired. Gurr kicks ahead. The race is on. Krushank has it. He's tackled about four metres out from the line. Now Jason Moon running across field. Yes, David, some information. Yes, Michael Popchi at number 40 is coming on, replacing Michael Andrews to lock forward. One of the real unsung heroes in this uh, South Sydney side in 87. It's a cruel blow to the Rabbitohs. Uh, Roberts getting a long pass away there to Blake. Blake gets it there to uh, Ellison. Ellison to Roberts. Roberts goes down on the tackle. Not tackled. Still held by Hasler. Wrestling with him. Still going. And finally put out. Hasler ought to get a, a medal struck for the work that he puts in for this manly side. Last tackle coming up. Colvin. That pass looked forward. Yes, it was. No doubt about it. I think the crowd disagree, but take my word, it was a forward pass. The scrum going down about five metres inside Manley's half. We've got nine minutes to go. 16-13 is the score in Manley's favour. The players have absolutely run themselves to a standstill. On the close, on the burst to the halfway line. Paul Shaw. Spun around by Popchi in the tackle. Cochran to Borton. Good surge by the uh, Manly captain. Crusher Cleal running. He's gone very well. Gets a pass away up there to Lyons. Lyons is tackled by Maven just inside the quarter. Davis. Hasler kicking again for the second time. Taken in goal, but run out by Crookshank. Well, he could have claimed the bomb. Just caught it. 
and got a restart from the quarter line. I guess fatigue makes some players not quite aware of what's going on. Boyle, pass knocked down. Still fielded by South Sydney's Boyle again. Mario Fennick running from dummy half. South Sydney still searching for the answer. They tend to be running just too much one out. Craig Coleman's got to take hold. They've got to move this ball around, stick to the patterns of play that they had in the first half. One or two rucks either to the middle of the field or to one sideline and then set up out wide for the back line. They've got to move the ball. Here's Jason Moon. Strong. Michael Popchi away to Coleman. Running to the defence before offloading. Doesn't give them much chance to do their thing. The last tackle coming up. What will the action be? Ellison kicking downfield. It'll go to Marty Gurr. Well, he's taken a hell of a time to pick it up. He's got it now. And redeems himself with a strong run. Shaw onto Ronson. Winger's being called on to come in and take as much of this heat off the uh, forwards as can be. Shaw. Loft. Only about five and a half minutes to go. Anyone's game still. There's Shaw gone for a sprint right through the gap. Looks on the inside. It's going to be a penalty to Hasler. Has to be. He was pulled out of the play. See that one again. He's still the man to watch, Paul Shaw. Plenty of pace, he and Des Hasler out of that dummy half position. And for the life of me, I can't understand how the sin bin wouldn't have been used in a situation like that. The try was on under the post. Des Hasler, just too much pace for the South Sydney side. Should have been in the bin. Ian Roberts was the man in question. The referees have forgotten all about the sin bin the last two weeks. Let me tell you. Cochrane's attempted goal will take place from the quarter line. And uh, probably about 18 metres off centre. Mario Fedix is going to be treated. The referee will have to stop the action because that uh, trainer would be in Cochrane's line of sight. change I believe David is coming up yes yeah, South Sydney made a change Neil Baker in 17 coming on for Michael Blake and also Mark Pocock will be coming on for Phil Daly who's obviously felt the pinch from the state of origin duties on Wednesday night in Brisbane Pocock for Blake uh, Pocock for Daly Baker for Blake Sixteen thirteen at the present Manley's way Baker with a very important kick. Are they all? Strikes it. Fails to get it. Drifted away to the right. So the score remains 16 13 Manley's way. And it will be a uh, quarter line drop kick to restart. Marty Gurr takes the ball, gives it away to Ronson. Ronson going to hop foot it back upfield. He's busted one tackle, gets beyond the halfway line. Good run. Shaw steps, runs. <laughs> gets a pass away to Ronson. Ronson goes another eight or nine metres before being put down by a very tired looking South Sydney side at the moment. Cochrane to Borton. Out to Lyons, who did well to take that. Back inside to Gurr. <laughs> Daly there. Has the run some dummy half. Pops a pass to Cleal. Cleal's gone berserk. He's gone right through. Put down by Crookshank. Only about 10 metres out. 8 metres out. Shaw. Pass knocked down. It's still Manley's ball, is it? No, it's South Sydney's ball. About four minutes to go. Now they've got to make every post a winner. Out to Roberts. Roberts is taken to the ground by 
Number 32, Matt Mark, and a good high tackle. Not round the head, round the chest. Fennec, Coleman, cut out pass, out to Maven. They cling like glue to his leg. And that is a handover, is it, or has he lost the ball? Yes, sure had uh, ripped it away from him in the tackle. About three and a half minutes to go. Hasler had come half, makes an inroad right around in a big circular sort of a run. Well, I believe he's uh, lost the ball there and hurt himself in some way. No, he's okay, but uh, they stripped him of the ball. So again, South Sydney have a chance, but uh, yes, they do, because this time there's been a penalty go to South Sydney from the scrum. A differential penalty. The time running out for the Rabbits. Just three minutes there on the clock, so South Sydney really don't have much time to just set up for a favourite move. They've got to sort of continue to work this ball around. Paul Roberts was sent out there as a running back rower. He's got to get himself out right to try and find these gaps, maybe off the 5A, eh, Dallison. Well, Les Boyle, he's doing all he can. He's got beyond the halfway line now to Coleman. Out to Ellison. The pass there to Roberts. Roberts gets a pass away to Chisholm. Chisholm, oh! Got it on to number 17 with the pass before it been called forward. Neil Baker has put out the last pass. See that again. That was as I called it. That's the perfect play for South Sydney to have the back row coming off the 5'8". Tired as all the players are. That's where he's got to cause the trouble. If they get the ball again, that's where they've got to work it once more. OK. The pass earlier in the movement had been called forward. It'll be a manly feed. About two and a half minutes to go now. It's a roar as he feeds that scrub. He's so tired he can barely get to his feet. About three metres from the halfway line. Paul Shaw slowly. But still battling. That's all that's required from Manly. Slow play of the balls is running this ball out from dummy half. They don't need to force the ball. They can't afford to come up with any mistakes to give South that last chance. Take the five tackles and a good kicking game and a good chase by all concern. That should be the ball game. Haslow running again. Gets it away to Lyons. Lyons straightens. Back inside to Ward. Ward will go straight up the park. You can bet your life on it. The last tackle coming. Lions to crush a Cleal. Cleal's gone for the long kick. Well, that's out on the full. And there's the Hooter. So Manly have won this, <laughs> this fixture as uh, the boos come from the South Sydney fans. The referee, Mr Stone, I'm just going to watch him as he comes off the field to see whether anything happens. I've uh, felt that he had an uneven performance in all sorts of ways. But anyway, the scorers went this way. Two tries each. South Sydney, Coleman and Maven. Ellison two goals plus a field goal. Gibbs and Lyons for Manly in their 16 points. Cochran four goals. No better try scored than uh, Ron Gibbs with his uh, magnificent kick and follow on. I'll be back in a moment with the man of the match.